So can my right honourable friend please set out the steps his department is taking to work with, with Ukrainian people and the religious organisations here in the UK so we can support them spiritually as well as physically? Well, I'm very grateful to my honourable friend. People of all faiths and none have stepped up in order to uh, demonstrate their support for those fleeing persecution. Um, a number of Ukrainian-speaking uh, priests were able to come into this country at an accelerated rate in order to ensure that we provided the pastoral care uh, for which the Ukrainian community was so keen to see. As with previous refugee crises, the government's response to the Ukraine crisis has, quite frankly, been pathetic, re revealing the true extent of the callousness within this government's hostile environment policy. The government has been dragged kicking and screaming by the opposition, the media and the good British people. Look, this country has taken in people from Syria, from Afghanistan. We're taking people from Ukraine. It is an uncapped scheme. But I'm just had it up to here with people trying to suggest that this country is not generous. The hostile environment was invented under a Labour Home Secretary. when it comes to the partisan nonsense and get on with delivery. The local authorities and people across Scotland um, and the welcome that they showed to uh, Syrians fleeing persecution and the willingness that they are showing to uh, help uh, Ukrainians fleeing uh, uh, persecution. Uh, what we're hoping to do with the Scottish Government is allow the Scottish Government to be a super sponsor and then to allow them to work with local authorities in Scotland. That's what's been put forward to us as the best way forward by Scottish Government ministers. It seems sensible to me, we just need to try to make it work. Britain and Ireland are both surrounded by water, neither of them are part of Schengen. And yet, Ireland has taken three times the number of Ukrainian refugees that Britain's taken, despite having a population 13 times smaller. Why? I'll never criticise the Irish government. So what reassurance is can he give the House that those aren't simply empty words and those that are fleeing conflict will be genuinely welcomed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, the good news is that her predecessor as Member of Parliament for Adrian Schotts, one of North Lanarkshire's finest, is now the Minister in the Scottish Government responsible for this, and I look forward to working with Neil Gray. Great man. Look again at this heartless visa requirement scheme, which is so out of touch with the people of Britain and indeed the devolved nations. And please put people first instead. But I'm grateful for her question because I can update the House to say that since the uh, website went live uh, less than an hour ago, uh, 1,500 people have already registered through the scheme in order to provide support. Secretary of State said the web page to volunteer to sponsor a Ukrainian refugee has gone live. The ITV journalist Paul Brand has just reported that uh, it doesn't work <laughs> and, the site, and the site can't be reached. <laughs>